How's it going, guys? Crowd of music here today. We're at the Millennium Fest 2017 with our Hollow Art Home. What's up? Hello. Hello. Going the festival so far. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Did you catch anyone or like plan on catching anyone? Unfortunately, we're going to need to be quite a Yeah, you fucked us. We're going to catch Napoleon, Holling Absence, Hacktivist, uh, Christina Rotondo, and as many other bands as we can, really. Yeah, yeah literally, once we get off that stage, it will be scouting the different groups and seeing who's about. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You guys are pretty. Um, a bit higher up on the bill, I think it's rest rules are rocked in your place. Alright, basement. It's still like a good sort of vibe there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just happy to be here, man. Any stage, any stage. It's not so. You also recently hit Europe. Yeah, we did. Had a bit of problems as well. Yes. Yeah, it was the best to look. But still Europe. Still coming around here. So we, we missed three shows, uh, one of which was sold out, 350 people, a headline oh. show, which was fucking gutty. But we just went through it with a brave face and just tried to do the conference as much as we could. You know, we shot a music video at the side of the fucking mountain, which was fucking sick. We, me and Nick, drove for like 12 hours just to make one show, um, and it was great. Uh, a, a true experience in all its yeah, all forms. It, it definitely, I think, as you said, I think at the time, like we, we were kind of owed the, the tour trip where we had a breakdown because we haven't had yeah, that before. It's just a trial of fire, so, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has to go it's to the M1. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're putting off the inevitable. It's different from being on the M1, just, you know, outside of like Manchester yeah. or something, to be on a fucking side of a mountain in Austria and the yeah. ski lodge was just kind of given away. Like, <laughs> popping into Halford to get yeah, to the right. sorted. Yeah. There, there is no Halfords or being q in Europe. If there's a fucking... Oh, it's being cute. It's not the same though. First of all, as well, we broke down on a Sunday and nothing's open. Apart from McDonald's. Apart from McDonald's. Apart from McDonald's. Yeah. Apart from McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. But the like, show's made up for it. Yes. But we played the shows that were meant to. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like... Yeah, so you guys went to Europe. To me, and like most other people, you guys are sort of like that underground sort of band that actually finally made it in the sense that you guys like finally sort of like breaking out. Like we're trying, we're trying. Like, I, would, I would say that I made it. It's yeah, quote, 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 is that vibe I mean, is not flowing. You managed the to like sort of like get out and really like stretch. Like to we're, we're, trying trying to world, really. we're, we're doing everything we can. You know, like we love our band and we love the fact that people took the time to check us out. So many people have got behind us and yeah. we really help sort of. We've definitely gone from like here to here. Yeah. We want to be like there, but we're going up. So yeah. you know, we will continue going that way. Well, we're 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 just 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 having fun. Yeah. yeah. You that's it. I mean, that's that's at the, the heart of everything we do. We just enjoy playing music to as many people who dig that, like the vibe that we're putting out there. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll, we'll forever be pushing our product because we believe in it. We don't focus on anything else going on around us. We just focus on what we're doing. And as Toby said, we're aiming for up here. We don't set any limits for the band. We just set goals. So, we're just yeah, going to keep taking it as far as we physically can. We've got a very small team around us. Everything that we do is done by ourselves. We have our booking agent, our manager, our PR. And that's it. Like it's all done by us. The merch is sent out by our friend Anthony, who's over there, um, and Mike, our manager. With us today. But, so yeah. yeah, it's just yeah, it's been great. We can do something on our own. We've actually accomplished it on our own. So yeah, that's that brings me to another line. Well, I was going to there on the interview. Like you guys are like completely sort of independent, really. Yeah, we don't have everything same. sort of like DIY. Pretty much, yeah. like, and even the album as well. You know, yeah. like, Hollow music. So yeah, yes, we, like, yeah. you guys. Obviously. We don't like to say we're an unsigned band. We like to say we're an independent. Yeah. yeah, like like Josh said, we have a really small like knit group of people that we work with. So we have um, our, our photographer, we use for everything, um, Holly Duncanson. He does all our promos, all our videos, um, all our merch shoots. Oh, and Zach Pinchin as well. Zach Pinchin as well, yeah. Um, doing our, like, a lot of our music videos. Yeah, Dan Kerr. Um, so, <laughs> in his book, I'm scheduled to pass to you, Shane, you with us as well. Yeah. Though, so. Literally, he made a gap for us and we were like... You were on here! So, we made the time. We just when it was sort of like the album was finished, we sent it out, we had a couple of offers come back in, some are bigger places, some are smaller places, but at that stage in the band's life we were like, we kind of owe this to try our way. So everything we've done in the band we've done our way, so we were like, let's just let's just do it, let's just yeah. throw everything in and see what happens, and the response has been nothing short of like, yeah, like. Yeah, it's just been unreal like to get the response from across the world. Like yeah. so many people message us like from countries some of us have never even visited before. It's just yeah, it's mad. Yeah, sort of like you guys are sort of like true to other sort of like maybe local bands of people starting out like the need for a label 
it's like no longer there, to be honest. The I internet mean, is a glorious I mean, everyone is producing a high quality of music in their bedroom now, mm. you know? Um, everyone knows someone who's got a, a, an SLR camera who can take a couple of good snaps of them. Like, it's just sourcing and using the stuff that's around you, the people that you know, and networking, going to shows, hanging out with people. You can, you know, if you're just, a band starting out, literally a couple of tracks, one music video, a t-shirt, you don't even need a t-shirt to start. Facebook profile, you're good to go. Just start playing like, shows. Just start playing that's, shows. That's the most important. Like, yeah. Especially a sort of like this scene. That is literally yeah. the only way to get an name. It's not like pop music where it's like, the one track, it's yeah, catchy, yeah. but you know, people exactly. like it. Like. You just got, yeah, you have to push it and you got to believe in your product. Like, we've been going since, like, we originally came up with the concept for our, our home, like, late 2012. Yeah. Like, we've been doing it a while and we've, like you say, we've only started to go on that little incline. Yeah. So, it, it takes time. You've just got to, as I said before, just believe in what you're doing and just get out. You will hit brick walls, but it's about how you kind of... Oh, the amount of times we have sat in a room screaming at each other. It's yeah. frustrating. It's like, it's just... Go yeah, <laughs> we, we can no, be our no, best no, friends no, and our worst no, enemies, no. you know. You're essentially like all of you are the boss, really. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm honestly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, to say yes, not <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> way, boys. Yes, no, we, 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 all, we all have our own individual roles in the band. Toby is the main top right now, but we all help the cops turn, you know. Um, I think Connor leads the way, like, he just does his own thing on stage, and I, and I hope. That if you watch us later, you can see the conviction right, that we have. Right. We just do our own thing and hope we dig it. So. Yeah, we literally just have sorry, swearing. We just have fucking fun. That's yeah. literally what we do. Like, we go on stage and we're like, right, okay, we've got 10 people here, or we've got, you know, 350 people here, let's just like have Still a party. Yeah, exactly. I'm the same show, man. 100%. Yeah. We're like, right, these 10 people, let me see a fucking circle pit. Let's do this shit. Let's just have fun. It's like line, but it's all right. <laughs> Yeah, going back as well to the debut album, it's been out for like almost like half a year now. Yeah, yeah March 13th, man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah almost half a year. So, uh, yeah, cheese, man. No, I'm like, no, it's like, it's quite crazy. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I was like, whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's the like, frightening realisation of how soon Alpha 2 will come around. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, like, oh, oh, Jesus. But, like, I imagine you lot were sitting on that content for like a while. Shit, dude. Some of those sounds are like 82 years old already. Some of the songs, right? Yeah. We recorded the album in two stages. Originally, Hearts was going to be an EP. Mm. We got the first sort of six songs down, and I was like, got another song. And everyone was like, we can't just do seven songs, can we? And they're like, no, we've got to do this as an album. We'll do an album now. So we did the album. Um, but at the same time, we came out in March, we got the masters back September. So some of the songs we're waiting on longer than others, like Throws the Balls and Crows, they've been out well before we re, yeah. we re recorded those for the album. So some of the songs and material have been around for a while. But the cumulative effort of what the album was all came together in September when everything was finished, mixed and mastered. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine that was like a big goal, like TikTok, like oh, this, the work you guys wanted to do. It was stressful, man. Yeah. So yeah. stressful. Yeah. It was just crazy to think, holy, holy shit, dudes, our little local band from Southampton has an album. We have a full length. Project. I, I, I knew I'm on vinyl. Yeah. 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 We were so stoked. Got a bit of people say, like, we're going to have them on vinyl. That's surprisingly, for an independent band, surprisingly yeah. expensive yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, how yeah. oh, much? <laughs> but it looks so good. It looks so good. They've been really popular as well. So. Yeah. yeah, so like, with all this sort of uh, <laughs> success that you guys have had, again, any advice to like, any of the local bands that are watching, even probably some of the fans that are playing tonight, anything you'd say to them? Like, but your biggest enemy is your... Yourself. So, yeah. it's just like if the, if the mental brick walls you will face. It will take, the bands take blood, sweat, and tears from you like, uh, like nothing else. Like, don't, get, yeah. don't get disheartened by playing small, like we would, we'll play shows, and this year we played shows to like uh, Munich and on the EU tours, we played to like a room for like 2,000 people, and then we could play UK to like 20 people. But still, it's the same stuff for us, so don't get disheartened by like, playing to next to nobody just you win, you win some you lose some just yeah. you know it's as lame as it sounds and I know I'm white but never knock the hustle <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta stick at it you but literally you just gotta knuckle down and right? like it is important like as much as it hurts now like paid promotion on things like Facebook and 
Instagram adverts and things like that. Half the reason people know who we are is because we, we put money over our own we pocket. We force here. ourselves down people's throats. Yeah. We're literally like, right, okay, we're going to put up one of those annoying videos that you hate to see. About it's like, I, I hated it. I'll be honest. Yeah, it's, 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 I hated it, but yeah. at the same time, as you say, just, just quickly. But, the, but you're doing it for an audience that appreciates yeah. it. Yeah. You know, there are people, you may hate it personally, but there are people that are going to see that. Someone, they're going to be like, oh, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I try and go through the comments and reply to people who tag their friends, like, oh, thanks for tagging someone. You, you see every sort of, maybe, every sort of comments, and we're like, oh my god, this is what I prefer to do, why are you doing it? I'm like, look at Andrew Hale. Look how big they are now. That's why we're exactly doing it. exactly why we're doing it, yeah. because that's but how they spread their brand. But Facebook and Instagram strangle the shit out of your followers. So we have uh, 60,000 followers. If you put a post out and don't pay for it, 3,000 will sit. Yeah. So it's like, so in a way, choice. we're shooting ourselves in the foot because all, all we are doing is promoting our own product. You're doing, you're doing what other people are doing, essentially. Yeah. But I think it's yeah. probably because you're a little bit bigger than them, people will have something to say about it. Yeah, of course. Like, it's, it's, it's it's like I said, like I mentioned earlier, we just don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. We just focus on. We, we do. Hello. Yeah. We, whatever else you're doing, that's cool for them. We have friends. Yeah, like we, we have friends in other bands and stuff. But like we just, we're not that big. <laughs> we like, do have friends. No, but we do, we just focus on our own thing. Like, yeah. We just, yeah. That's literally. You can, it. you can spend an intensity looking at other bands, going, "Oh, I wish we were doing what they're doing." But you need to focus on what you're doing because, yeah. like, we have, we've got to do. We've got to sit back and go, oh, "I wish we were doing that." But then look at what we've achieved and be like, "You know what? We came from here to here, and we did that all off our own backs." So it's just important to stay grounded and be confident in what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, also, you guys have like been touring relentlessly, relentlessly again, UK, Europe, mentioned earlier. And you've got like the big one off at the end of the, not the month, it's not October, it's not yeah. still October. But, um, and one thing I want to talk specifically about that for me personally is you've got Crystal Lake on that show. Oh yeah, man. Oh, yeah. All the way from so Japan. I think this is like their first UK appearance as yeah. well. I think they'll probably... How I'd, did you go about like, doing that? Like, I'd imagine they'll probably do another couple of UK days around at the same time. They were in Germany. Um, I'm a big Crystal Lake fan anyway. Mm. And um, we've actually been in talks with them at the earlier this year about doing some shows with them in Japan, oh, yeah. but we didn't round, get round to it at the end because um, the uh, Tour of Secrets came up in Japan, uh, in uh, Europe. So we would have to do some more stuff with Crystal Lake, but it's going to be really cool. Halloween as a whole, we wanted to obviously play around with it all, but we wanted to make a festival of it. We wanted Halloween to become its own brand, something that gets done yearly, and for us it's important to have some really cool bands on there, you know, yeah. some really good homegrown talent, but like having a band like Crystal Lake, it just really adds something else to the build. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, massively. Like having someone so far away from home, obviously so notable in the scene as well, had you know under our name, it's just. And they were really stoked. They were like, we, we really want to go over and play for you. We really want to be on the bill. So you know, it's cool and hopefully we'll make some, some new friends. So. Yeah, they will probably put us to shame. Like, <laughs> probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like everyone's face is like melting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all know. Right. Oh, oh, right. oh, so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> can you warm them up a little bit less, please? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you think about doing it yearly. That's the aim. Yeah, we want to turn it into an annual thing, you know, eventually where we, we might have like an acoustic set on it, but it's mainly just going to be just chock full of loads of bands yeah. that, that we all dig all and personally bands, cherry pick. All the bands that are announced and yet to be announced, we chose ourselves. Yeah. So like we either know them or we dig them. So we just message them like, like, like them. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, always like, going to school, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've been really good friends with Shields for ages. Ash, the front man of the Mapmaker, has supported the band since day one. Yeah. His band's really cool. They're, they've only been going a little while, but really, yeah. really good with like, the band. Band. Definitely check them out. Yeah. Uh, Crystal Lake, again, just awesome big bands of them. And we've got a couple of bands. One's really good friends of ours. And another one's another really good rising star UK band that we all really rate. So, yeah. six bands this year. Hopefully, ten bands next year. Keep going and see what happens. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for uh, like, talking yeah, more to more than guys, to come down. Anything else you got going on? Laws yours. Uh, well, we have the UK tour in October with Kingdom of Giants and Creators Fire, so if you can come out to that, that'd be awesome. Yeah, and then we're hitting up Europe again, uh, mainland Europe with Secrets in last week of November, first week of December. So if you can come out to those shows, that'd be amazing. Um, thank you for checking it out. Yeah, and obviously, if you want to come to Halloween, it's on the 27th of October at Talk Against Southampton. There, there is only. I believe less than 100 tickets left. Yeah. So, come down. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably going to go out like a couple of weeks, so get well, on that. Fingers crossed, sorry. Check, there might be tickets. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank